Okay. And if you're looking for the perfect way to, I guess, like honor, mm -hmm. honor an ex, would you ever want to honor your ex? No, no, no. You'd want to get revenge with your ex. How about giving them the ultimate symbol of love, a hissing cockroach? Oh my gosh. That is so romantic and sweet. <laughs> the Houston Museum of Natural Science is back with their fun Valentine's Day promotion, Endless Love, and here's how it works. So they essentially offer guests a chance to name a cockroach after their ex. Lauren Kelly is facing one of her fears and getting up close and personal so brave. with the creepy ca crawlers this afternoon. <laughs> Lauren, break it down though. Are these the type of roaches we see, I don't know, all over Houston? <laughs> or are they the larger <laughs> Madagascar? No. Uh <laughs> hissing cockroaches. Yes, Derek, you are correct because I brought up, you know, the R word, raid, and that's a big no-no here. These are the Madagascar roaches. They're not the gross and disgusting ones that you see and you want to step on. I say that very quietly in front of our, I don't know, our friends here today. But Lauren Davidson, let's talk about this because yeah, this was absolutely. so much fun last year. Yeah. These are not the roaches that are creepy crawling around our houses. Correct. They're basically the same. Roaches are roaches, okay? <laughs> I don't care how you break it down or where they're from. <laughs> so these are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. So you are not going to find these in your back backyard or okay. in your house. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So the promotion, this is so much fun. We're not naming our loved ones. This is for sure for the exes, a.k.a. the Voldemorts, if you have those. <laughs> so come here and name a roach after your ex because nothing says love, an endless love like a cockroach, and nothing makes your heart beat faster Absolutely. than a cockroach. How long is this going to go for? Uh, we will be set up through Valentine's Day. Okay, and we're looking at the Roach Motel right now. Yes. And the best part about this is we can only visually see right now, I don't know, I'm looking at maybe 10, but mm -hmm. how many roaches are in here? So there's about 40 to 50 cockroaches Okay, in that's why we can't ever <laughs> see them in the house. Exactly, it's a very good example of that. They are great at hiding and tucking into small places. And I know I've asked you this before, but I find this fascinating because you guys put some food in here mm -hmm. for the roaches, they're special ones. What are they eating? So we give them a good mix of fresh fruits and veggies and some protein items usually. Oh, protein, of course. Yes, yes, of course. So we have some cat food in there as well as oranges, some squashes, and some greens. Now, I did ask you if normal creepy crawly roaches eat a bunch of oranges because those are the oranges I'm going to be taking out of my house, correct? That's. I mean, they do eat oranges, but they eat a lot of other stuff. <laughs> literally pick up your trash and don't leave them. But that's not the ones here. These are actually kind of special roaches. And how long do these Madagascar roaches usually live for? Yeah, typically about two to three years. So okay. they're not like our insects here that only live for like a few days or maybe up to a couple of months. They live a very long time. Okay, and I also want to show if you come and you do this here at the Endless, uh, Endless Love Motel, you get a actual certificate with your roach's name on it and you also get a lovely pen that you can rock and no one will have to know that that is named after your ex, but you deep down in your heart will know <laughs> that you have named a hissing cockroach after your ex. Now, Lauren, you joined us last year and last year you made me hold a roach. Yes. And I'm, I got a big trouble last year with my <laughs> husband because he said, if you can go on TV and hold a roach, I'm done cleaning them up for you. So I don't know that I can hold one this year because I'm gonna have to start cleaning them up. I think we should still try it. Okay, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I will think about about it. Okay. I will think about it because you said the first thing people do when they, they have a roach in their hand is they want to do this. Mm -hmm. I need to get in the, in the mind frame for that, Absolutely. Derek and Tessa. So um, I'm going to toss it back to you guys for now. <laughs> I'm going to try to make some friends and come to peace with my big fear of these roaches. But I don't know. Are they cute? Do you think that they're cute? I, I like where they live. No, I don't think they are cute. Derek right thinks they are cute. <laughs> I actually do think they're cute, and since they're the size of, I don't know, a puppy, why not hang out with them and cuddle with them? That's adorable. 40 roaches, too. It's not a Even puppy. more to love. It's not a puppy. It's, it's okay to be wrong about things. Like a small kid. I don't think you're right about that. I you're, think they're cute. Listen, they're I, cute. that type of roach no I can handle. The roaches we have all over the neighborhood, you know Houston leads the pack when it comes to roaches. So <laughs> We're number one. <laughs> I don't like the street roaches, but I like those. Those are adorable. Those are like, yeah, the, not the street roaches, the pristine roaches. From Madagascar. <laughs> We're number one. His... Our sports teams <laughs> and our roach population. Okay.
Well, the Houston Museum of Natural Science is back for their very special and fun and loving big Valentine's Day promotion. It is the endless love promotion here at the Heartbreak Roach Motel. And you can come and for only $10, name a Madagascar cockroach after your ex or somebody else that you love. And Lauren Davidson, director of the Butterfly Cockroach Center, you have joined us to kind of lay down some of the facts about roaches, some yeah. of the incorrect things that I have absolutely. picked up. These are different from the ones at your house. Yes, these are absolutely different than okay. the ones at your house. For first, first of all, they're from Madagascar, so okay. they're not from Texas. So okay. You're not going to find these here. Okay. Second of all, the cockroaches that we have here, most of them rely on speed and flight to get away from predators. Yes. Right? So that's why they're really fast. And I think that's why a lot of people really don't like them. They're yeah. creepy and fast. Running. Exactly. These guys, they're kind of like the turtles of the cockroach world. Okay. They're so step in the right direction. Moving. Okay. Yeah. So the main way that they actually protect themselves from predators is by making a hissing noise. So they're mimicking a snake. And these have been quite quiet right now yeah. because you told me at any given time they can be very, very loud. Yeah, I mean, they can be usually just when we're handling them. Oh, yeah. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> really quickly for $10, you can name a roach, you get a Absolutely. certificate and a little pin here mm -hmm. and portions do benefit the Cockerel Butterfly Center. So your donation is actually going towards something really good and the yeah. conservation for that center yeah. as well. Um, last year when I came out here, I told you about my terrifying fear. Yes. And you guys, I'm not kidding. Derek and Tessa can vouch for me and anybody that's been around me. I had a really traumatic experience yeah. with roaches, but anybody that's coming out here, you will allow them to touch one of these or to pet the roaches if they'd like. Yeah, if we're out, yeah, absolutely. I know you can't hear my heart or feel my <laughs> heart beating fast, but I I'm gonna do it this year. Last time you just gently placed him in my hand and you said the trick was just not to like do this and like let him yes, go. Don't fling him. Don't fling. He doesn't have wings. He can't. I fly. can't <laughs> guarantee what's going to happen. But last year I couldn't look. I don't know that I can look this year. Uh, is it, does this one have a name? Oh my God. Oh my God. I see his name. <laughs> Barbie. Her name is, even if her name is Barbie, uh, I think I feel like it's her. Okay. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. I know that even though I was really trying not to fling it. I was really you trying. You did great. You did great. Oh I'm gonna have so a cardiac arrest. So you handled them so nicely and so calmly. I feel like I'm literally going to cry right now. But I did it. I made it through. Yes. She didn't hiss. No. Barbie. No, she's comfortable. Okay. Maybe next time I can just um, wear something that Barbie would like. Some. You say they can see dark, shadowy yeah, things. Yeah. 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 But I mean, if you wear something too dark, they might think that you're a hiding spot. Okay. So great. I have like black pants. Okay. Idea. All right. So H M S. <laughs> org for all the information on the Endless Love Motel here. You guys can come out and name one of your exes, one of your loved ones, and really solidify your endless love for them here at the museum <laughs> while this lasts through Valentine's Day, right? Absolutely. I can still feel the tingling on my <laughs> fingers and it's not going away. Oh my gosh, Derek Contessa, I did it though. Yay, we're a success today. <laughs> Happy early Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> Ari, I'm the worst. Okay, Derek is in here with the fake roaches, Lauren. You know the fake roaches he keeps on hand? Sorry, oh. Lauren. He, he had FOMO yes. so badly yes, that I he do. had to scare our guests here. With, show him. No, it's so, you think you're. I'm oh, sorry. No. So Gabby, who plays the role oh, of Gloria no. Estefan, I just, I just Let's had the fake Gabby. roach. And I'm going to, I'll <laughs> post it. we're not invited to the theater <laughs> now. I'll post it on Instagram <laughs> later. Lauren, hey, good for you for facing your fears too. This is like a defining time in your life. Great moments it right is. here. And now I'm gonna go pass out. Let's find out what's on tomorrow's show when we come back. I'll be right back.